Okay, Wednesday 18th of July. Another day here in Bukhara. Just taking it easy. It's, uh, yeah, well, actually we're off to meet uh, some friends that we met in Turkey, East Turkey. I don't really remember that, John and Fern. They're from England, cycling from England. We met them in East Turkey and camped with them for a few days on petrol stations. But, uh, they've took a different route to us. They, uh, I've been to Georgia, Azerbaijan, Baku, and they sailed across the Caspian Sea. Yeah, they cycled through Kazakhstan, the desert there. And uh, we've been in contact with them on WhatsApp. And a few days ago, they said they were near to Bukhara. And we said, so are we. So amazingly, we were in the town on the same day today. So now we're going to meet them. That'll be really good. So we're just going back down to the pond now and uh, say hello to them. So that's what we do. Okay, so a nice morning with uh, a couple that we met from England, Fern and John. So, uh, quite a coincidence, we saw them last in Turkey and then met them here in Bukhara. It's a coincidence, really nice to see them again in here. They took a different route to us and just to hear the experience if they, they've had, uh, that was really nice. So I think we're going to go for dinner with them as well this evening. So it's great to see, see them again. So now I'm just out... Uh, Exploring a little bit around, come to this place here, I'll show you. So this is a mosque, it's called Core Minor. It's actually built in 1807. Yeah. It's got four towers, they're nicely minarets. They're been told to symbolize the four religions that used to exist in this area. Christianity and Buddhism, Islam and uh, Zoroastrianism. Actually not just minarets as well, actually used for practical purposes like storage and the one is actually a tower, a viewpoint tower, you can go up and get a look out over the town. But, uh, it actually collapsed, <laughs> one of the towers collapsed in 1995 and the authorities here they wanted to keep it a secret so this was removed from the official sites in Bukhara and uh, quickly rebuilt and then when it was rebuilt it was uh, put back on on the tourists list. Let's have a little look around here. An interesting building really. It doesn't look like any other mosque we've seen until now, even though I'm told it's supposed to be like a normal mosque inside with a dome. Tried to get in, actually can't get in at the moment, seems to be locked. Now this is just some of the smaller back streets that are just around the centre of the town. So it's about two o'clock in the afternoon. Extremely quiet, you don't see really any people in the afternoon here. They all seem to be having a, a siesta. Uh, and in the evenings, as we've seen, the place just comes alive. But, uh, no, it's only the crazy European people walking around thinking that uh, it's not that hot here. Okay, this huge fortress here with enormous thick walls. This is called the Ark. It dates back to the year 500 AD. It's been uh, attacked though several times and destroyed, rebuilt even. Genghis Khan attacked this fortress here. Believe it or not, he actually managed to uh, destroy it. Unbelievable when you see the size of the walls, the thickness of them. Back in the square here, watching kids play football. Amazing, Jamie's only just turned up and they already know his name. 
so they've invited him over for another game of football. So that's uh, that's good. So we just had a nice dinner with uh, John and Fern, our friends from England. So uh, that was great. Share stories of what they've experienced on their trip and ours, and uh, talk a little bit about where we go next, which will be the. Looks like we're going to be going on the Pamir Highway, which is a very famous place for touring cyclists. One of the main places they head for. So um, maybe we're going there. Let's see. We'll do a little bit of planning tomorrow. But uh, that was a nice evening. So um, you know, I think Jim will have a game of football again and uh, play here. And then we'll go back and have a rest, I think. Just taking it easy the last few days here in Bukhara. And a great place to take it easy, really, even though it's a bit hot. but. Uh, Taking it slow for a few days. Little kids learning to ride bikes here, I can see. Pushing around in prams and little scooters. Amazing, all the kids. Never seen so many kids out so late, but that's what they do here. <laughs> That was the end of our second day here in Bukhara. Yeah. Just been taking it a bit easier today, not too much, just a little bit of sightseeing and meeting with our friends, John and Fern. So, and Jamie just finished the day with a iced tea and some uh, game of football. Game of football yeah. <laughs> with all of from Uzbekistan. Your new friends? Yes, so that was very funny. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think we've chosen to stay another day here as well. So. Um, so that should be good. So we'll have another resting day here tomorrow and then I think the day after we'll be on the way to Samarkand. Very early again so we can miss out on the the heat of the afternoon. So we'll see. But tomorrow we'll be here again. So have another day here. Okay, bye bye. Bye, see you tomorrow.